guys. I'm so excited to share with you guys my updated um, like everyday flawless foundation routine. Um, it's super highly requested and it definitely is what I do every single day. Um, I'm the kind of person where I either wear, like to me this is like my everyday makeup. I either do this or I don't do anything at all. There's no like, ooh, let's do tinted moisturizer and like mascara. No, mm -mm, girl. I'll either go outside with my full face of makeup on or with no makeup at all. So, um, before I get into like the steps that I do to actually apply my foundation, I just wanted to let you guys know how crucial it is to take good care of your skin. You don't have to be psychotic and like, you know, have a million different face creams and a million different face washes. You can definitely do that if you want. It's going to make your skin look better. I mean, the better product you use and the more, um, like, your, the more you wash your face every single morning and night, your skin is definitely going to show that. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys the products that I have been using. So I've been using the Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. I love this because it does have like gentle exfoliators in it. So it does kind of uh, help wash away that like top layer of dead skin on my face. And then after I wash my face, I always tone it. This is really important to do in the morning, especially before you wash, before you apply your makeup, because you might actually have some extra residue um, or extra makeup kind of sitting on that top layer of your skin. So I use the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Stress Control Toner. I swear by this stuff. This is like one of my holy grail products. I don't think I'll ever stop using this just because I do love it so much. Um, to take away any like extra makeup that might be sitting like underneath your eyes or for me like my eyebrows. I just use this uh, eye makeup remover that I got at Target. It's just the Up and Up brand. You could use um, coconut oil. My friend uses coconut oil. Um, you could use, I have friends that use like extra virgin all organic olive oil. So you could do that too, whatever floats your boat. Um, and then the last thing that I use, and I actually really like this. I got this on sale at Rite Aid, um, but it's the L'Oreal Paris Ideal Moisture um, Day Lotion, and this is a 48-hour hydration, and it is for dry skin, and it has um, 25 SPF, broad spectrum. So I really like this. Um, if you, since this is my everyday foundation routine, um, it's really important for me to use SPF every single day just to prevent my skin from any UV exposure. It's just going to make your skin look more youthful. It's going to really help with your collagen and your elasticity and making sure that you just have that really nice like bouncy glow. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys this. Um, let me know if you guys have anything else you want to see and let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is me with absolutely no face makeup on. Um, as you can tell, I do struggle with a little bit of redness like on my chin and my nose and I have some acne scarring like on my cheeks from when I was younger and I have, you know, things that a lot of people struggle with. So I'm going to just, this is going to be really cute, but I'm just going to like very lightly, because I already did my hair. I'm just gonna pin my bangs back. So I'm gonna start off by priming my face. Um, my face is already, I've already cleansed it, exfoliated, toned it, and moisturized it. Um, so the primer that I'm using is the NYX Pore Filler, and I'll list all of these products down in the description box. So what I'm gonna do is just put some of that on the back of my hand. That's a little bit more than I normally use. It just kind of all came out at once. And I just apply this in the areas um, that I struggle with like big pores or that I just want it to be like smoother altogether. So that would be on the sides of my nose, right here, that's where I get like lots of big pores. And if I'm looking over here, it's because I have a mirror, but I'm gonna try to make it so you guys can see. And then on my chin, on my nose, and in the middle of my forehead. So now you're just gonna rub all of that primer in, and you can just blend it out so that it gets like onto your cheeks and stuff. Okay, so now our primer's all rubbed in. Now for foundation, 
I'm using two different colors. Um, I love the L'Oreal True Match Foundations. I've been using them for probably like five or six years and I'm going to be using these two. Obviously one is really light and one is really dark. This is like how pale I normally am and uh, by adding a little bit of this because I have self tanned a little bit, the lighting is making me look lighter than I really am. But by adding these two together, I just really get the perfect shade. And this is W2 is the light one and W6 is the dark one. So you're just going to shake it up and kind of warm up the bottle with your hands. And then I just apply like uh, maybe a dime size amount. You can see, maybe not. Oh, there you go. Um, then I'm going to do the same to W6. I'm just going to apply about a dime size amount to the back of my hand. Just like that. You can see it running all over my hand. And just mix it together on the back of your hand with your finger. Once it's all mixed together on the back of your hand, um, then I just dot it on my face. I apply it right where I applied that pore filler. And then on the side, on the bottom of my cheek, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to apply this on my chin and on my nose, my forehead. And then whatever's left over on your hand, go ahead and apply that to your neck because you really want to make sure that it's all blended on your neck. So I use a beauty blender. Uh, my dog kind of chewed it up so you can see like little spots where it's chewed up. But I just use the like bigger end and I just literally like bounce it on my face to just blend it all in. And I do want to show you guys like the whole part of me applying it, but if it gets like repetitive, you guys can fast forward to the next part. So I'm just applying that all over. It's kind of hard to do this when your eyebrows are already done because you don't want to ruin them. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. <laughs> I might have to touch up my eyebrows. So you're just kind of bouncing it on your skin, bouncing it on your neck. This lighting is like weird. And you really want to make sure that you blend it like up on your ear, behind a little bit, and then down your neck. And then same thing. And you just want to make sure it's applied like in your hairline. Okay, so we're all done with our foundation now. Now we're going to move on to concealer. Um, concealer to me is probably the most important step because I conceal and highlight at the same time. And I use the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer and this is in NC15. So what you're going to do if you have this product, really whatever concealer you're working with, um, you just apply however much you feel like you need. I use one pump. Um, it's about that much. And I just use my ring finger and... I'm just going to go in right under my eye and just dot it, bring it up onto the top of my cheekbone because that's where I'm going to be doing some highlight down the side of my nose and then up again as well. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just basically applying it all underneath my eye, kind of like in an upside down triangle motion and then up. Um, Oh, I have some mascara on my eye. Up the side of my face. So then you're going to take the pointy side of your beauty blender 
and you're just going to, same thing, just bounce it in. And I love this thing. Sorry, my light keeps getting so weird. When I do makeup on other people, they like cannot stop talking about how much they love the Beauty Blender. They're like, oh my gosh, it feels so good. So same thing, you're just gonna dot it right underneath your eye, go to the top of the cheekbone, just cause that's where we wanna naturally highlight, down the bridge of your nose, and see I'm not getting any more product, I'm just working with whatever I already have. Down the side of your nose, and then you're just gonna bring it and meet it up with what you've already done. You can see it right there. So then we're just gonna take our Beauty Blender, and we're just gonna blend that in. And if you like how full coverage my makeup is, um, you could definitely use these same products. If you wanted something that was a little bit lighter coverage, I would say instead of using the True Match foundations, maybe use like a BB cream. Um, and you know, if the concealer is too heavy, instead of using this concealer, you could opt for something a little bit lighter weight. So just blend, 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 blend. So see now underneath my eyes is all nice and covered. So we're gonna take what's left over and we're gonna apply it on our chin. And if it looks like I'm looking over, it's because I'm looking at my face in the screen so that I can show you guys. Blend that on your chin. Now if you feel like your chin is already kind of big, don't only highlight a little bit, don't highlight too much. And if you need to go get your beauty blender wet again, then you can kind of dampen it up a little bit. Now for my nose, I apply the beauty blender in just a little bit of the product and I just put it right on the bridge of my nose just like that and then I blend it out because my entire nose gets really red. I think it's just a hormonal thing. But the entire thing is like really, really red. And my mom is the same exact way. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna apply some of that concealer on the Beauty Blender this time. And you could apply it on the Beauty Blender when you're doing your under eyes. You could apply it with your finger. Really, whatever works for you. There's no like, you know, exact way to do your makeup. It's really what works for you is what you can do. So we're gonna apply that on our forehead. And then I just take whatever's left over and I'm gonna apply it to my under eyes. And it might look like I'm like stabbing myself in the, sp in the eye, but this is a sponge. Perfect, so our concealer is all done. If you look, you can kind of see it just really helped with a lot of the redness. I kind of wiped off my eyebrow a little bit right there, but I can kind of go back and fill those in a little. So now we're done with foundation. So easy, right? People are always like, oh my gosh, it probably takes you so long to do your foundation or makeup, whatever. No, really, it doesn't. I look so pale and I just self-tanned. What the heck? I swear I'm not this pale in real life. Now for powder, it is so important, you guys. If you are using a wet product like foundation or concealer, set it. Set it with powder. Even if it's just like you know, a quick dust, you need to set that mess. Otherwise, you're gonna be like melting during the day. Even if you, I don't care if you have dry skin. If you have dry skin, then you should be moisturizing in the morning and night. You should always be setting with a powder. So for powder, I am using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm using the uh, 020 Nude Beige. Now, there's two different ways to apply your powder. Well. There's a million ways, but these are the two ways. You can apply it with a brush. I'll, I know I need to clean my brushes, so let's not get on a tangent about that. You see how this one is tapered? How it kind of like goes up like that? This is gonna give you um, more of a natural finish. It's not gonna apply as much product because it's a lot fluffier. Now, if you use a product like this that's really dense and it's completely flat, it's gonna pull a lot of product on that brush and by pushing it into your skin, you're gonna get a lot more product. So for me, for every day, I like to use a brush like this that's tapered because it's not gonna give me as much product. It's gonna give me overall a more natural look. Now for nighttime or for a day when 
I have like a full day of errands or I'm doing stuff all day, I would use this kind of brush because it's going to give me more product and I'm not going to have to touch up as often. So I'm just going to get some of that product on my brush. If you hear a dog bark, barking, it's Teddy. Um, so I'm going to get some of that product on that brush and I'm just going to push it into my pores. So I'm just going to powder and I will be right back. Okay, so we are all done powdering. I just basically pushed all of the powder into my skin just like that. You don't want to go like this because it's going to move that foundation. So you just want to basically like push it onto your face just like this. So now that that's all done, we want to set our under eyes. I don't like to use this powder because it's a little bit too heavy and I notice that it'll make my under eyes crease. So I'm going to use a um, like finer milled powder and I want to get the Ben Nye Cameo powder, but right now I have the NYC Smooth Face Loose Face Powder and I'm just trying to basically use this up. It's just translucent. So what I do is I just get some of the product in the cap like so and I actually take my beauty blender for this um, and I just pat some of the product on my beauty blender and I just pat that right underneath my eyes just like that basically everywhere I put that concealer this is where you're gonna apply that so you're gonna go down the side of your nose under your eyes and then sorry I'm trying to make it so it focuses and then the same thing on the other side, you're just going to go underneath your eyes, down the side of your nose, and up. And then I actually like to go on my chin, and then what is a, whatever is left over in this, I spilled some over here, that's why I'm going up there. You're just going to put on your nose and on your forehead. Okay, so that um, is basically how I do my foundation from start to finish. I am going to apply my uh, bronzer and everything, and I will be right back. Alrighty, guys, so this is the finished look. Um, oh, gosh. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that this answered any of your guys' questions that you might have had. Um, and, yeah, I am going to... Go probably get some coffee and do a little bit of running around. I have some things I have to get for my sister's baby shower and whatnot. Take this little fool out to go go hang out. Look at how cute he is. Isn't he so handsome? My baby. Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Me and Teddy are just giving you big cyber hugs from here to wherever you are. So, goodbye, guys.